Here's Chef Jerry Levine serving up some delicious shrimp cocktail. Well, today we are going to do one of the most popular appetizers that one would be buying in a restaurant. And it's basically a shrimp cocktail. Now, what's a shrimp cocktail? Well, the shrimp cocktail is made from shrimp. And uh, th this size shrimp here is what is called 3140. And that means 31 to 40 counts per pound. So the, the, more, the, the larger the number, the smaller the shrimp. Now, shrimp normally will come with a shell and on the tail as well as the, uh, the sides. And, there are, and it comes in a number of different ways. Uh, one of the most popular kinds are, is what is called Easy Peel, which has got a cut along the back and that does two things. One is it opens up the shell, so all you have to do with your thumbs is just spread it apart and it falls away. The other thing that it does is that there is a vein uh, in the back, and it's called a sand vein, but what it really is is the intestinal uh, tract. And the purpose of, of removing that is because there may be uh, sand in it. So that's what that is called. Now, these are 3140s. All right. Now, this is a, a bit of a smaller shrimp. Uh, in a restaurant, you're probably going to get a 2025, or maybe um, a, a, a 15, 20. But anyway, this is the raw shrimp. How do we know it's raw? Because it's not red. And that is, this is cooked shrimp. Now, what are we going to do? We are going to take and do a, a recipe that is essentially using the, the typical way of cooking shrimp, which is generally in water, maybe a little bit of salt, maybe a little bit of lemon juice. But uh, I was in New York City and I happened to have uh, a shrimp cocktail because my daughter-in-law said, Jerry, this is the best shrimp cocktail anybody's ever done. Can you figure out what's in here? So as a matter of fact, I did. So I went home. And uh, ultimately, I went home and ultimately I decided I'm going to use a little dried basil, a little bit of cumin, and one of my favorite things, the bay leaf. Okay, what did I do? I put that into the water that I was cooking with, and I added a tiny little bit of lemon juice. Now, what was the purpose of this? It was to intensify the flavor of the shrimp. Did I want the bay leaf or the cumin to stand out as a predominant thing? No, I did not, because I still wanted the shrimp. I wanted these other things to complement the uh, shrimp. So we put it in there, and we put it into our pan, and we put all of our ingredients into the pan, and we brought it up to a slow boil. Then I put the shrimp in and I cooked the shrimp for exactly three minutes and I set a timer and the purpose of that is I didn't want to overcook it and I didn't want to undercook it. So this is what I ended up with here. Now what are we going to serve this with? Well we won't normally we serve it with what is called a cocktail sauce. So the cocktail sauce you can either buy one in the supermarket, you can get it into the in the restaurant, well, I developed the cocktail sauce, which I really like. And it's made with a, a chili sauce. It's made with ketchup, a little bit of Worcestershire, a little bit of lemon juice, and one of my favorite things in life, Tabasco. Okay, so we've got a little heat, and we've got a, um, a different flavors. And, and then it comes out looking like this here and look at the texture of it. And that is the way it should be. You don't want it too so soft and you don't want it very thick. So what do we do with it? Well, the next thing we want to do is we want to go about plating it. Now, but before we plate it, we want everything chilled, right refrigerated for about an hour. So you want your shrimp refrigerated, you want your cocktail sauce refrigerated. And why do we want it refrigerated? Because 
The shrimp that is refrigerated has a really nice snap when uh, it is uh, eaten out of the refrigerator. So you want to try to get the shrimp and the cocktail sauce to be about the same uh, temperature, which is going to be refrigerated. All right, first off, how do we serve it? Well, you can serve it on a number of ways. You can serve it on just a plate with a little cocktail sauce, or you can take one of my favorite uh, things to serve things with, and as, as well as I don't mind drinking a martini now and then, and which I think is wonderful. And we're going to take a little lettuce leaf, and we are going to add some cocktail sauce to the lettuce leaf. We're going to put that right in the center, and we're going to make up two of these guys. And we're going to take the shrimp, and we're going to put it on the outside, and make it so it kind of looks nice. And we eat with our eyes, and our nose, and our mouth in that order. And let's say, let's do five of them. Okay, because these are little guys. So we'll do five. There we go. We've got one, and now we're going to do another one. And we're going to put the sauce in there like that. And we're going to take and do five again. And, and the, the, the shape and, and the way we're decorating it is so critical. And you know, people like to go in, especially if you're in a restaurant, and as I said, shrimp cocktail is probably the most uh, loved or favored thing that one gets when they go into a restaurant, as an app. Okay. We now have that, and we have a, and you'll, you'll notice that I use two different sizes of martini glasses. Why did I do that? Because the higher one looks bigger and maybe a little bit fuller. And the, the lower one, and we'll put it right like that so it take, we get a good look at it. I personally like the, the smaller one. And, but I wanted to show you the difference, the visual difference about how it looks with one size versus the other. So. We have a little bit of shrimp cocktail left over. And uh, my sous chef here, Mr. Uh, Metal Heron, Heron, which is uh, really designed as a green heron, uh, is standing by, probably trying to get himself a shrimp, piece of shrimp, which, uh, yeah, there may be some left over. And there's certainly some left over for my producer, who uh, likes to eat uh, a, a lot. And But I just wanted to show you how to do this. Now, let's talk about shrimp. Where does shrimp come from? Where does shrimp come from? Shrimp is basically throughout uh, all the oceans, and it is uh, uh, a saltwater animal. It is also farmed, and it is farmed in places like Florida and Vietnam and, uh, uh, and areas uh, in South America, uh, as well as Central America, and it is and there are a huge number of shrimp, different species of shrimp, and they all have a very different characteristic. So, but one of my favorite shrimps happens to be what is called a red shrimp, and it comes from the Carolinas, and it is just dynamite. Uh, we really don't have any natural shrimp up here in, uh, in the New England area, uh, but so we get them imported from places like India and Vietnam. And uh, they normally come in frozen, and a frozen shrimp is good. And if you can get a fresh shrimp, uh, you probably end up in, in southern Florida or Louisiana or someplace like that, and you can get a, a, frozen, a, fr a frozen or fresh shrimp there. And they are simply dynamite. The shrimp boats are these boats that have these two massive uh, mass on the side of them. They're called outriggers. When they're fishing, they drop them down like this here, and they tow nets from here and here, 
and then they pile the nets back in there, and then they ice them down, and that is the way they do it. So, what do we have here? We have delicious shrimp cocktail, as well as a delicious uh, shrimp that we have flavored with a number of different things. So, to all of you, enjoy your appetizer, enjoy your shrimp, and try adding some sub spices. And please feel free, we will give you the uh, recipe uh, for the, the liquid that we cooked them in, and you're really gonna love this. Okay, thank you for watching Delicious and Nutritious. Uh, looking forward to the next time we get together. Take care, bye now. Thank you for watching. We're grateful for your attention. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe to the local scene here and share everywhere. Thank you, friends.